It's the 90s. Waitress. Uh, yeah, no, I appreciate this early. I'm sorry, really sorry to have woken you. I can't really call you from work during the day. Look, I just wanted to chat about your ad. No, 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 not, not now, of course. I know it, yeah. Thank you. I'll see you then. Chris. Bye. Starting work already. <laughs> Should be a posty, mate. Finished by midday. Scotland on Sunday. On a Wednesday? Uh, yeah, my boss sends them to me. Make sure I'm up with the times. Sent you the wrong people, then. How's the training going? Working on the legs today. You have to work a different muscle group every day. Lunch. Fee, I'm not going to bother today. Um, I've got too much to do. I'll just pop out for a sandwich. Sandwich? Oh, darling. I'll get some sushi if you want. We can sit in together. No, you go eat. I'll, um, it'd be better if I just crack on. OK. Mmm. So, like I said, a year, maybe two. There's no plan. Just a wee group of us. The four are experienced sailors, one isn't. Uh, six pulled out at the 11th hour, so I'm looking for a replacement. We hope to sail in a couple of weeks. Be nice to know within a week. Sounds fantastic. Um, oh, brilliant. I mean, brilliant. Um, I am only curious, though. It's, um, it's just a fantasy, really. She's a 50-footer. Beautiful beast. Is it too dear for you? No, 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 it's not a matter of money. Lucky, laddie. Hmm? How long have you been out there? Sailing, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 30 years. You know, watch the hands click around the face out there, you know. My old man was devoted to the clock. But he died of a heart attack when he was 46. Within a year, I was running the business. Routine. <sighs> Not me, really. No, I wouldn't have thought it would be. You like your job, Chris? I'm good at it, I'm told. You know, when you go on a voyage, it's a course for the horizon, and you never reach it. It's a beautiful thing. How old are you, if you don't mind my asking? I'm 28. You're familiar with the seven-year cycle theory? All mod cons, eh? Hmm? 
<sighs> Mr. Rigg. Got to get back to work. Pleasure to meet you. Um, sorry I've wasted your time. It just wouldn't be realistic. Take this. No, 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 thank you. Oh. It'll help your dream. Well, I do enough of that, Mr. Rigg. There's never enough of that, son. Another repail today. Yeah, you? just throw them in, will you? Life in the fast lane. Ready? I've got to change a plan. Can you take an extra hour or two off? Probably. Can you? Yeah, yeah. I'll finish all I can here. Fighting his way forward to freedom, cruelly halted by a dramatic 20 foot ravine, McBain had no choice. He leapt out to his destiny and made it to the other side. And this brings us to what we now know as Soldier's Leap. What was that story about a shoe? Oh, you've done your homework. Where are you from? London. Oh, Assassinac, aye, well. See, there was a time when we used to pay the army a fortune to keep the English out. And then one day we thought, well, why not give the army a wee holiday, let the English in, and charge the bugger £6.50 for the privilege? Because we're mean that way. You've probably heard. <laughs> However, the shoe, aye, <clears throat> it fell off and was preserved for some time afterwards as a trophy to mark the event. Now, if you would like some trophies of today's events, um, I would be more than happy to pose for a few photographs with you all. You'd help me up there, Chief. <laughs> Now, you know, I've been telling you I've been having these dreams. But this morning I woke up very early and I picked up the Scotland on Sunday magazine and in it was this story about Soldier's Leap. And I remember that years ago my father brought me here. But reading the magazine I realised that I am this guy, McBean, in my dream. Is there an epilogue to this? How do you mean? I mean, you bring me all the way up here to tell me about your dreams. So, what do you think it all means? 